So I recently was introduced to a uh, TikToker that I haven't watched before. His name is Dexter Shack. Uh, give him a follow. But this video is 56 seconds, and what he's able to do in 56 seconds is truly outstanding. So he's going to talk to two GOP voters, Trump supporters in particular, and he's going to convert them. Now, let's see how he's going to do that. And before I, I start the clip, my co-host has decided to bless us with his presence once again. So uh, let's watch this together. Welcome back. I'm Derek Riddle, and I'm joined by... Mike Willard. Nikki. Trump 2024. Do you, what do you think about that? Definitely Trump. He was better than Biden is now. What's been going on recently with the Roe v. Wade getting overturned? What do you think about that? I think women should definitely have a right to choose whatever is best for them. They're taking away women's rights. But you would vote for Donald Trump again? If I could vote, yeah. Yeah, I would think so. Did you know that Trump actually appointed the three court justices that overturned Roe v. Wade? No. Do you think that contradicts a little bit what you're saying? Yeah. I'm really unsure about who I'd vote for at this point. Does that change your opinion, like, on voting for him? Yeah. So Trump is like a now maybe? Yeah. Is it fuck Trump 2024? Yeah. Five minutes ago, Trump was wow. like a definite yes. It's hard to know at this point. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that. Yeah. So all it took was to educate GOP voters and he was able to seamlessly flip them like that. That's incredible. That is absolutely incredible. I don't think people acknowledge everything there is to know about Donald Trump when it comes to policies. Like you and I, we can pinpoint specific things that he did and we could say this is why he's bad. But a lot of people, political normies, in particular, they're not that savvy. You know, there's a lot going on, so I don't necessarily blame them for everything. But like this girl, she's young. She probably just hears her friends talking about Donald Trump. She sees some memes and she just instinctively says, well, you know, people don't seem to like Biden. So I guess it's Trump 2024. But then when you educate her about what Trump did and who he appointed to the Supreme Court, she flips. And same for the other guy. And credit to him. Trump pointed the three court justice. Uh, for pointing out that it was indeed a contradiction. Wow, who would vote for it? You know, a lot of people, they wouldn't be this honest, right? So I've, I've watched a lot of Walter Masterson videos where he'd point out the contradiction and they wouldn't budge. They'd still remain strong in their views. But at least these people are open-minded enough to say, mm, okay, now that you told me that, I think I want to... Think it over a little bit more. I actually applaud them for this. I applaud them for this. Like, it's embarrassing, yes, that they didn't know that Trump appointed the Supreme Court justices knowing that they would overturn Roe v. Wade. But at the same time, I've got to give them credit for actually being honest and upfront and saying, OK, I didn't know that. Now I'm going to change my mind about this or possibly think it through a little bit deeper. Um, yeah, as as uh, Hype says, some people vote the way people around them vote. Not much thought put into it. That is exactly right i have so many normie friends that do that exact same thing so for example in 2012 when i was still an obama shill and i loved obama i mean to be to be a little bit more charitable to myself i wasn't as enthusiastic about obama in 2012 as i was in 2008 but i was still enthusiastically voting for him and i remember a lot of my friends shared these pro romney posts uh, on facebook and that was before we had marriage equality right so i remember telling my friends Hey, it's a little bit fucked up that you support me, you love me, you support my rights, you want me to have the right, the right to marry, but yet you're supporting this Republican who doesn't think that I should have equal rights. And the response was, I'm going to stop supporting that Republican because I did not know this. I had no idea. I support you, of course. You're my friend. I want to protect you. I don't want to vote for somebody who fucks you over. So, okay, yeah. Thanks for pointing that out. And this happened, like, I want to say with at least two different friends, one family member in 2012, one election cycle alone. People don't necessarily know. So even if it is painfully obvious to us, you've got to point this out to a lot of people. You've got to point this out to people and connect the dots because they don't necessarily get it. And so I think that, you know, TikToks like this are really informative because they show you how easy it is to win over people. People are subjects of, or, or I should say, people are products of their environments, right? Right. 
So they might not necessarily be glued to some sort of political philosophy as you and I are. They might just vote because everyone else around them is voting for Trump. And that's that's really it. So um, I want to go to another video from Dexter here. Do you think everybody has the same freedom and rights in this country? So I'm not a racist, but... Oh, hang on. Yes. Black <laughs> people in this country have the same rights as us white folks. Okay, I have to pause it. Whenever somebody says, I'm not a racist, but 99 times out of 100, they're going to say some racist ass shit. And that pause there, whoo, felt like an eternity. Do you think everybody has the same freedom and rights in this country? So I'm not a racist, but <laughs> yes. Black and brown people <laughs> in this country have the same rights as us white folks? Like I'm Irish and stuff and obviously Irish people were not treated that fairly either. But what about all of the police shootings? That's going to happen with the, the violent neighborhoods. You can't just, like, get out of Chicago or whatnot, if that makes any sense. Why Chicago? Chicago is kind of nor notorious for, like, gang shootings and, like, just being kind of an unsafe area. Did you learn that from listening to too much Chief Keef? You guys are Chief T? Or what is that? Chief Keef. Chief Keef. Keith. Okay, we've got to watch a couple other videos from him. He's good. Is there any um? <laughs> the, life stuff? the only thing I found in there that's left is the um, it's an American flag, but it's the um, blue line. Oh, the blue lives it's, matter one. It's uh no yeah blue lives matter one. Hi, I'm Cindy. <laughs> Hi, Cindy. Yeah. Dexter. Dexter, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Howard, nice to meet you, nice to meet meet you. you guys. I forgot my American flag jumpsuit at home, so oh, no. yeah. Oh. You can take it out and look at it if you want. All right. All red is, is firemen, and all the blue and those types of things are police. Oh, that's what's and up. Green for military, and there's a fourth one. Is there a Black Lives Matter one? No, I don't do that. I just keep myself out of that, that loop. <laughs> you just kept yourself out of, like, the whole Black yeah. Lives Matter loop? Yeah, because I don't want a retail store that causes anybody stress. What if, like, you know, like, a black person comes to the store and they're like... Oh, I have no problem with color. Anybody. The more political things, it's just best to stay out of it. Yeah, BLM's a little too political. Well, I think so. I can tell what, side, what, you, what you do. <laughs> what, 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 what do you think I do? Well, because you, you keep pushing I... the BLM and I'm thinking, so you must be in very much in support of it. Very much in support of yeah. it, yeah. Like, it's it's the best. Yeah, it is the best. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not... I don't do it. I don't have um, items in here that can cause any problems. And if okay. somebody finds a, something with something, then I'll take it out while they're there or whatever. What exactly is uh, this? That is my mama's um, Mambo doll. Sambos. No BLM stuff, but we got Sambos in here? Or? BLM. Something that says BLM. This does not indicate BLM. It's not a BLM. I've lived all over the world. I love the nationalities. Oh, uh, the fly, you know, clothes. Very convincing. I've lived all over the world. I love the nationalities. We totally believe you. Okay, I'm going to pull up Dexter's YouTube channel. Everyone go uh, subscribe to uh, Dexter Shack. Tell him the Humanist Report sent you. Send him lots of love because that content is gold. Love it.